Hello. Thanks for watching. Here you see before you quite a large pile of shame. It's rather impressive. This is my pile of shame right here. It's not quite as impressive, but it's still a little bit out of control. And what you do not see pictured is my outrageous titles that are on Xbox Live and the stack of recently played games. Basically, the shelf becomes completely full and overflowing. And then I have like DLC and add-ons and connect titles that I just don't get around to playing. And I'd like to change that. I'd like to go ahead and play some of those games and put them up on the internet for you to enjoy me, you know, basically goofing off. Here's my Steam library. It's also a little bit out of control, probably much worse than my console library is. And Steam is a great service. They have amazing sales. And uh, as you'll see as the pages go by here, um, you know, some of these pictures are just the DLC or add-ons, but all in all, according to Steam, I have over 306 games. I have two pages of inventory, which are not redeemed. And then I may or may not have redeemed everything from some of the Humble Bundles. And if you haven't swung by HumbleBundle.com, uh, check it out. It's really great. You can give the charity and you get something in return. You can choose how much of your money goes to charity. It's awesome. Um, you'll see here also my Uplay library and my GOG library. Uh, some of those were free, but it doesn't take away from the fact that most of them I haven't played or installed. Uh, my Origin library is growing, unfortunately. I'm not a huge fan of the service, um, but, you know, it's there, and it's another way to manage my games. Uh, a little bit of a honorable mention to Gamefly and OnLive. I have some games there, and, you know, they're also just another way to play games and enjoy them digitally wherever you go. Um, what I'd like to do is uh, be able to play a game that you put here in the channel or your answer, you know, in the comments or whatever. And I'll go ahead and just make a let's play or a quick look, whatever you request. And that way, you know, some of these games may actually get installed or unwrapped. I think I took the shrink wrap off of most of them that you see there. And they uh, one one more quick look at my pile of shame, as it were. Um Additionally, I still have like PS2 titles, like I never got through the uh, Vice City stories or the Liberty City stories, which were pretty fun. Um, I also have uh, some older disc, you know, disc-based titles for like the PC that I just, you know, they're sitting in that stack of uh, wire, wire baskets next to the pile. Um, and I also have a small PS3 collection. It's mostly the family's Blu-ray player, but I do have... Probably about 15 games or so for the PS3. And, you know, I have <laughs> probably another 15 to 20 games on the PSN. So, uh, like I said, you know, please uh, leave a comment and let me know what you think, what you would like to see a video of or a quick look, a let's play. Thanks a lot for watching.